I mean, you know, I don't know about y'all, but I know George Costanza, left and right. What a good guy. What a guy. Uh, but what a gem. honestly, he doesn't even compare to the guys over at UMass Amherst. They're in the league this split. I think we have an interview with one of the guys. Another yeah, in- interesting. Yeah, because I thought we had all our interviews done, but I guess we've got another interview. Let's check it out. Hello? Hey, right now, today, this exact moment, we are here with W. Nami Ooh. from the UMass Amherst team. We have a real D1 collegiate Look athlete at that. Today. Look at that. Oh, D1. Insane. Completely deserved D1 collegiate athlete right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Not That's purely correct. done by population of the school. No. Nope. It is nope. fantastic. No, nope. UMass Nami football is, is undefeated. They're they're not insane. They're crazy. So what are you feeling tonight? Are you you know have you guys been practicing? Are you confident in your abilities? How you know what do you think? What do you think? Well, um, I guess first of all, you know, I think we've definitely had a bumpy start, and we are definitely you know trying to work out some things, try to come together as a team. We haven't really we haven't really played that much together, so. I think this event is definitely a opportunity for us to grow as a team. This is true. Listen, even Shaq and Kobe had a bumpy start at one point, and they still won the finals. That's so true. you got to look at it like that, right? It, this is a, a long haul, but with a time limit. So you got to turn around at some point, and uh, we're hoping it's tonight. Oh, yeah, I hope so, too. I think, um, I think yesterday when we scrimmed, we made a lot of big improvements, and I hope that we can replicate that today. Yeah, I mean, you take it one day at a time. You're a new team, you got to build that chemistry anyway. Only time really can do that for you, or experience with them. So, you know, you take you take your time. You do what you can. What role are you again, W Nami? I mean, uh, I am mid lane. Oh, okay, nice. All right. Oh, this, look at that. Go. Like the that. playmaker. That's it. Yeah, that's the way to go. It. So, I mean, the new patch dropped and everything, which is always. Uh, huge. Uh, the game did break a little bit. Have you been enjoying taking the blast cones off the platform or what? Well, I will say um, I know a lot of people that play jungle. They're not very happy. No. no. Uh, I am pretty happy because junglers are not happy. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, you must feel great, right? Because no matter how bad you do of a job of not setting up the gank, he can no longer smite your cannon minion. That's this right. Bit, so that you're a power farmer now. Oh yeah, it's it's great, and <laughs> I do not care if the poaching uh, is like reduced. It's fine. I'm just gonna take the camps now. I'm just kidding. You do um, it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, you do it. Sometimes you gotta establish your dominance right, <laughs> right. there. It's, it's just about getting that farm number up. That's all that really is. Oh, it's ten CS per minute. Very exactly. nice. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, it's going to be a super exciting game tonight. Glad to have an interview with you. It's going to be crazy, and we've been told you're going to pick something crazy tonight, so I'm excited to see what I have heard that, and I cannot wait. You better not let us down. We might not let you back on. Uh Oh, (laughs) Oh, yeah. No, I'll I'll, I'll make it a banger for sure. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. WNAMI, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you out there. Good luck. Thank you for having me. Thank Thank you. you. Oh, here we go, right into the champ select. We see Pike, Fiddlesticks, Oriana, and three other champions banned. Graves first pick on the side of UMass. Look yeah. at that official logo, that's crazy. Yeah, it's on the SLS. Cool? That's kind of cool. That nice, that's awesome. Hey guys, this is a huge deal it, for us. No effort, you don't have to school. pay a graphic designer, just boom, UMass, oh there it is. Boom, a Graves first pick, you know, Graves always a strong jungler, good clearers, like just spikes really well off a couple items, just a Really, really powerful pick. You know, can't complain. Going to be the rel pick in response. Vegan Chicken having a lot of success with the rel last game, so why not go back yeah. to it? Yeah, I mean, did some work. Even I, I don't know how much rel did necessarily here and there. I would say last. A game. A lot of those engages, like if you weren't paying attention, I mean, rel had a lot of those engages, was, like okay. starting those off. Nico on top. That That's was the key right there. Okay. I guess I, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I was focused on the follow-up nah, from the Nico, but Rel definitely put it in the, the Rel's, to, Rel's animations are so started. smooth, it's really easy to um, to not notice what you're doing because it just slides so well. Oh, uh, the Ziggs There's pick, the Ziggs. though. I like little Ziggs, you know, just kind of sit back in the lane. Um, 
So far, though, not a lot of engage power coming in. You know, you got the Ziggs, got the Graves, tons of damage, but we're not seeing that engage in a Thresh pick. You know, I like seeing that. Possibly the Ziggs Thresh bot lane. I, we have seen a lot of Ziggs bot. It wouldn't surprise me at all to see that. It'd be good for Ziggs to get out, you know, follow-ups with the Satchel charge, some slowing yeah. from the mind and you know, field. You, you play at such a far range, you know, it's going to really kind of gimp the Rel, the Nico. Oh, for sure. A lot of deterrence. Um, put, the, put his E down, you know, it's harder to walk up. So, you know, really good plays right there. Thresh as well, a really well-rounded champ, can do a lot of things really well. Um, probably the jungle pick going to be here, and interesting. They go for the MF here. Okay, yeah, so you got mid lane and the bot lane being picked up, and jungle and the bot lane on the other side, it looks like. So, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. First picks, MF, always a very strong AD carry to have. Um, scales pretty well, you know, has a pretty decent early mid game. Um, strong champion all around can't complain there and how are they going to respond an orn ban you know orn that guy just runs the top lane that champ that yeah guy. that guy does a ton of burst base damage he can build items in lane he just has cc out the wazoo the camille ban in response it's probably gonna be a lot of top lane bans here i would imagine Let's see what they pull out um, I'm very excited to see the MF Nico Rel in the team fights. Mm -hmm. If it's anything reminiscent of the first game, wow, they want to get rid of the Jax. Okay, so like you said, another top lane ban there. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be top lane focused here. Going to be really digging into the wow, depths of the champion all four. pool. Yeah, yeah, that's what you see. Top lane, extremely volatile lane, um, and a lot of uncertainty. We're not exactly sure where the Ziggs is going. Nico's probably going mid, but, you know, could still go jungle. We have seen that before. So there's a bit of ambiguity there. So they go for the top laners because they know those have not been picked up yet. And a Nocturne pick here. I like that. That is a They have really solid engage. I'm guessing the J4 band out. They go for the Nocturne. Uh, pretty solid decision, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to respond Ooh. with the Lilia. Lilia top, possibly, maybe even jungle. And the pick after that, we got a bit of a UI problem on our side, so you guys got to find out before we do what they pick. Um, there we go. Now I can see everything. Uh, and uh, well, we're probably going to wrap, wrap this one off. Lilia top, Lilia jungle. We are about to find out. Uh, probably looking for a blind pick top lane. You're probably going to pick something solid, standard. Scion, you can't go any more solid than that. Okay. It's a big, beefy tank up top with some pretty decent lane power as well gonna be an absolute beast up there how do they choose to respond with that they already have a lot of solid engage and team fight options how do they round that one out uh, champions like shen still on the board possibly looking to something like that to help the team out any other kind of big engage what do they go for they go for the yone again you know if it ain't wow. broke don't fix it Three. layers and layers and layers of absolutely rock solid engage i mean that's you know three out of five identical champions it did, they all of them did a great job last mm -hmm. game. So uh, we'll see if they can recreate that. I think it's very possible, especially in these team fights. Plus the MF. I mean, what was it, Ash before, right? No. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, well, no, it was a Jinx. It was Jinx, yeah, right? Jinx. Okay, okay. So M MF, arguably an even stronger initial Strong, team yeah, you know, burst, uh, maybe? Spikes really hard off a couple items, you know. Um, it, Especially the first item, you know, huge spike off of her initial mythic buy. Gonna be uh, gonna be very, very strong teams on both sides. I say edge wise, you know, if you go in like hyper hyper late game, I guess you almost give the damage over to the side of UMass. They got a lot of uh, different uh, damage sources. They uh, they scale pretty well. Sign always scales well into the game. Ziggs, Graves, same thing. Um, gonna be interesting to see. Wait, where where are where is everyone here? Is it Lilia mid? Is it Ziggs? Oh, maybe Yone top, right? No, no, no. I'm talking on that side. Like, who? Oh, uh, uh, It's Graves yeah. jungle. Graves would never not be. Oh, it could be Graves mid, I guess. I, we, I have seen Graves mid before. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're so waiting Ziggs to get in the game here. It's a bot, for sure. Definitely everyone else is putting in the same effort we are right now. Definitely really trying to get a product out there. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Absolutely excellent. Dude, it's, it's tough. It's, uh, the person who runs this is uh, not the brightest bulb out there. So uh, he gets a little distracted during our broadcast. Uh, 
No, we're not good. What do you mean we're good? Yeah, there's nothing on the screen. Show me something on the screen. I'm sitting here picking my ass for the last 20 minutes. Jesus Christ. It is the Graves mid, it looks like. Good Lord. I'm done casting. I'm done. <laughs> We see the young duck and the young frog having a good time before they go their separate ways here. And here we are. We'll have a nice little chill intro to the game. UMass vegan chickens. Cuddle bun. Oh my god, we have so many subs. What's going on? Someone gifted, I think. Did someone gift subs? Slothic has gifted five tier one subs. Wow, Slothic. That you, is Slothic. great right there. That is great by Sloth. The homie. I almost wish I was a part of this chat right now so I could get, hopefully, one of those subs. That's the same as Soup Legs. <sighs> that is Little Soup right? Legs. That is Little Soup Legs. You got five names. It's tough. <sighs> so we got a... We're back at it. We're, we're, we're back here. at it. Vegan chicken got a little warm up session in there, so they're they're pipes, they're ready to go right now. They are in the rotisserie <laughs> cooking. <clears throat> so here's the thing. How baked are they coming out? Five dollar rotisserie chicken at Costco. That can't be real. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if the I can that. The whole thing, actually. maybe six dollar. I want so, that. Can you buy me that? UMass might go buy a couple when they oh, farm God. this team here. We'll see what ends up happening in the end game. But right now, I mean, we're just, you know, we're sleeping. It's about two and a half minutes, guys. Sweeping? <clears throat> in the chat, tell me. Yeah, nothing crazy happening right now. Some pretty standard stuff going on right here. Your Rel getting color. some vision across uh, as much as she can in the bot lane. But I don't know. What, what would you say? You say this is sort of an, an aggressive lane. What, what can you really do here right now? Well, Thresh says, actually, I can... I can hook you. I'm very sad if I'm MF and Rel mm. at the moment. I mean, having That's... to deal with Ziggs no matter where I am is kind of ass. Yeah, the the poke is just a little sad. You know what I mean? It's just like ah, look at that. Ah. It's just very unfortunate to just sit sit there and get it's just uh, unfortunate to just sit there and get poked out. Oh wait, that is a different guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just taking a bunch of damage. I don't know if B Red would do that necessarily. This you never game, know. We've got the young Zokiaz in the bot. We've heard a lot about Zokiaz. A quick though. sub. Now I haven't. I have not seen Graves mid in quite a long time. Right? Everybody just moved them to the jungle, but maybe with these jungle changes, people have said, "Listen, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I want Graves mid. I want to go back." <clears throat> To the good old days back when there was you know lucian mid or graves oh. mid just ran the game that was it before they changed lucian so you asked his passive has to activate with his allies around it wasn't like that it was just smoke what? everything that's what they did <clears throat> i mean yeah. this is not really a surprise ziggs gets first blood mf was about 20 percent health there a quick one two buckle my shoe yep but Thresh goes and down. There it is. But Little so Noodle Rel. is slain. The King Koala is right here, but he is merely going to be slain by Vegito. Uh, the Nocturne picks up a nice, juicy little kill. That's going to get him their first kill on the board, Vegan Chicken. Now, this is kind of what we saw from last game, right? Vegan Chicken, a little slow in the early game. Mid game is kind of where it picked off. Very good on getting these objectives. So I want to know if it's the same case because you're no longer, you don't longer have the blue side advantage, right? But you're on red side. So can you work the map the same way you did with a different champ, like Nocturne? Uh, very, 
I, I mean, this guy's a, it, you're guaranteed to pull a flash or get a kill if you gank level six, right? I mean, that's just what happens. Mm, that's how strong he is with that ult. So some people will just see just power farm it uh, a lot until you get that level six, but it's great to see him moving around the map right here. He's trying to keep up with farm as much as he can, but he already got a kill on board, so he's a little ahead of Lilia. And uh, this is it. Oh, yeah, this is it. And we see, we see Cyan doing some damage to the, the Yone. Um, not the same as last game where Yone can kind of just bully the shit out of Jax. Cyan's got some pretty high base damage. He's a tanky lad by default. It's in his nature. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I don't think it's going to go the same way. Cyan now, oom, pretty much. Yone doesn't need to worry about that. Oh, my God. Thresh is getting hurt right now. Uh, but, you know, he gets out. Pops a little potion. He's got two more to drink if he wants. He pops Ooh, another one. A little drinky. Level four. Yeah. Form. We see Nocturne hovering bot side. He wards the dragon. Gonna grab his Gromp, I think, though. Cyan is just one of those champions where, I mean, it doesn't matter what you do to him, right? I mean, this guy is the guy who you can kill him 40 times in lane and he'll still beat you once mid game ish late game happens it just doesn't matter he is just a champion that is so absolutely tanky i think it's i think orn is technically the best tank in the game i think statistically mm -hmm. he is uh malfife is a full ad team whatever you have a lot of health all that jazz but oh, no. yon actually going to go down right there so let's say orn malfight then I, th I would put scion up there Right he's at, up there. Right he's at got number the three. HP yeah. All the time. He's he's growing that shit all game. He's got the shield. Yeah. I mean, he charges at you. I'm I'm shitting my pants if he signs good. ulting toward me. Oh yeah, it's scary. I mean, it just makes a global sound and everyone it's gets very scared. Too. Yeah. yeah. He has the next thing you know, sounds. he's just running in there and smashing somebody. But uh, I like it. He's kept up with the theme and he has now five straight dragons between the two games right here. So True. this is this is what he does. He is a jungle and objective machine. And Regardless of champion. <clears throat> yeah, I was once told, listen, it's not about kills. It's about objectives. And you know what I said to that? Oh, yeah? Who dropped 45 kills and won a game? That's what I say. That was you. Yep. How did I know that? I've done it. Who else could do it? That's why. That's how I knew that. Wow. Gray's going to grab that last cannon. Um, he's going somewhere. Running around, wants to go back mid, see if he can farm. Not too much happening. Um, there is see... always a lot happening. You just have to call it out and tell I need it to, to the think people. About it. I need to have the, the you knowledge. You just need to tell the people here in my garage. That's all right. You know, sign coming on back, wants to grab some of these juicy minions. Little yum yums. Yep. Uh, Nocturne is going to grab his golems. Probably his red, maybe make his way mid or top. I see Rift is open. Nico's going to teleport back mid real quick. Get that farm. Pick up the wave. Yep. He only do a little bit of damage. Actually, no damage, really. Um, ends up, well, he, yeah, I mean, yeah. Some I mean, damage. It's some damage. More than Scion did. So. Yeah, I, you just got to do that. Rinse and repeat three or four times, and you got yourself a kill right there. Uh, oh, a lot going on. Here. Look at this. We're starting to invade over the top side. Lilia, un completely unaware of what's going on. Nocturne shows himself, trying to catch up to it. Lilia drops the ultimate right here. The fear's about to come off. It does. Yona's still not able to get there. He did not have... Wow. Yoni flashed. He did not too. have anything right here. So this is about to be a juicy yeah. little fight right here. Actually, Yon just gets stuck. So he is in a lot of trouble. The whole rest of the team still trying to rotate around and help him out. But he's going to pull up Flash. He still dies anyways. Rel not able to get around the corner right here. Nocturne trying to do what he can. He fears him to get some more damage on. But this is going to be uh, a little wild right now. Going back and forth. Cyan escapes. Nico escapes. I mean, everyone is just like five health. And only Yon got punished. Oh, my God. I mean, tough for him on the 1v3 waiting for his whole team to come around. He did put himself in that position, split off a little bit toward the blue buff side. But, um, yeah, not too much happening. Yoni dies. That's it. 
Yeah, it should have been more of a bloodbath than what it actually was. Yeah. Uh, I think both teams just didn't want to be that guy that got your team killed and, you know, Probably almost like ace. Oh, so yeah. it was just they both played it so safe that almost nothing happened. Pretty much. Um, and now we're on to the 10 minute mark very shortly here. Nocturne wants to grab the crab. We see Rel. You know, sometimes I think Rel is Sejuani. It's close. I mean, they, Very they both similar. ride the animals, right? I mean. But then you got, who else? You got uh, Nunu and Willem. You yeah, got and ride Kled. on the shoulders. Well, sometimes it's confusing because Senna in the high noon skins will ride the horse. So it makes it feel on like. home guards. Yeah, you're like, wait a minute. What's going on here? Who, who is this? Who, who's, I have a Rel, and then it's a Senna. So it gets a little, uh, gets a little confusing. Riot trying their best to keep things fresh by confusing all the players. Well, that's what I was. Every that's patch, what I learned, I think right? Actually their, if you their can't goal. beat them, confuse them. That's right. the motto. How are they supposed to do anything at that point? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Oh, so let's see. Scion's doing a little bit of a mission here. I mean, they know where he's at. But he is doing a little bit of a mission. Sees, oh, he's getting that ward down. No wraiths to steal. Goes right back top. It's a little sad. There's no wraiths there to get. Well, Raptors, I guess. So I meant to say. Oh, look at Slothic says, y'all ever spend five hundred and eighty dollars on a whim? Shit hits hard. <laughs> That's deep. Man. I would love to know. I would love to know what he spent five hundred and eighty dollars on a whim. That's a very specific that is, pricing. Is yeah, right. that is very specific pricing. So there's gotta be. Um, there's gotta be huh. something. <laughs> Could be anything. It could be anything. Could be something a little bit. Uh... Dude, mail order brides are cheap nowadays. Oh, the truth comes there go. out. There go. I'm gonna be seeing little slothic on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> <clears throat> And look at this. This is going to be another time. dragon. They're going to trade Second. Rift Herald for dragon. Technically, Rift Herald's a little better right now because plates are still up. So if this can get dropped pr practically immediately, then you're going to get two plates. So you're going to get a little more gold on the people you wanted to go to. But in the long run, the dragon wins it right here. But that is seven straight dragons. For vegan chicken right now he's got quite the streak going on the dragon king that's that's really what it is graves oh stuck right. in a rough position is gonna try to kite himself out of this here has rel walking all the way around i'm sure at this point in his life he is saying come on really <laughs> they sent three people for me that's when you start to blame other people uh um, i would type ff yep yeah. Yep, that's that's Yone what doing I would some do too. stuff up there, trying to do some damage. Oh wow! Oh, and there she goes. There goes the little horsey girl. Yeah, yeah. She's well, hurt. Look the at this! Look at this horse. Scion just tank everything. It almost makes you feel like he was gonna <laughs> walk out of that I one. He was. What the heck was that? Jeez. That was crazy to me. It took way too long for four guys to kill him there. Um, that just shows you the power of Scion with the Wardens and the Steel Caps. Yeah, Already. that is kind of freaky. 13 minutes. Ziggs Look comes Ziggs back to another lane. one. That's like that's about like two kills where they've just poked MF down to nothing. He did, yeah. Huh. Wow, Pat does not like that. Oh, whatever Slothic just did. You made him very Slothic, mad. Slothic, what are you doing? Oh, my Slothic, goodness. What, what the doing? heck happened? You gifted us some stuff. All right. Well, anyways, <laughs> anyways. So, <laughs> I'm going That's a lie, Eric. That's a lie. <laughs> That's where I fund this I'm shit. Like, yeah. I'm not. Chase is stirring the pot. Yeah, but we do we do appreciate we do appreciate, and by appreciate means Josh Ooh. reciprocate. And oh, that's absolutely. That's kind of the rule that we have over here. Gray is able to get right out of the Raptor camp. Uh, a 
uh, still going right back in it. He knows he has that passive on his E where he has a lot of armor right here. So he's playing it very aggressive. The rest of his team not able to follow up and do enough to get away with some stuff going on right now. But uh, Vegan Chicken's looking pretty good. Getting some trades off. A lot of damage here and there. But no one's really dying. Maybe like one person in these like four-man fights. So it's kind of crazy to just watch this. We saw we saw Yon pick up a double kill over there in the top lane, uh, which was good. Killed Lilia and the Scions. So he's getting a little extra gold over to him right there. UMass is trying to do what they can to just find some sort of avenue in here, right? They took the Rift Herald. They lost two dragons. Uh, and so now you got the Ziggs. The Ziggs is doing very well. Very well in, in terms of, like, a poke and a lot of damage, right? I think you have a bigger front line with the Scion, and the Lilia is always just super annoying. She can just run around the whole map and just kill you. And oh, just do whatever like she, she just wants. did. Yeah, so that's it. So I think in a, a straight-up fight, I kind of like UMass's team, right? Oh, I, yeah. I, I mean, Nocturne, he can, he can do it. He can go, go and get to Ziggs. There is the peel with the Thresh. There is the Ziggs bomb to try to get him away. Of course, if one of those gets spell shield, it gets a little tricky out there. But I think overall, UMass does have the better team. So we're going to be seeing some of these fights come in here pretty soon. And uh, that's it. Nico's just going to walk right out. Nico still hasn't died. Look, Nico, uh, the last game this guy played this champion, 8 0 and 8, I think he finished it with. So 10 0 10. Just a little Nico. Less. We'll see it at that. You know, last game, his name was Bob. Oh, Yone and Nocturne take down Scion right there. Someone is... Nope. They take him down, and then Yone's just going to push out the wave. Oh, who's, whose tower is that? So that's Yone just to, or MF? destroyed the first I see down there. So little Yone, little Yone actually just got the first turret of the game, so that's some good extra gold to him right there. And we see the dragon coming up in 15 seconds. It's a pretty good timing for the tower to die. Maybe on purpose. Grab the little crabby crab. Young Scuds. DJ Scuds. Oh, shit. Oh, the Nico all is huge right there. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> Going straight to the back lane to get the Graves. He <laughs> do nothing but just sit there and take damage from four people and die. I'm probably screaming. I mean, uh, <laughs> Nico shows up, stuns me. Nocturne dies my other buddy, and I'm dead. Right. What, what else is there? I mean... There good night, essentially. Good night. There is nothing to do. Right. I think your only option is to um, win the game. Right. That would be my that would be my letter of recommendation. That right sounds there. like a pretty good plan. The problem is, how do we do it when the enemy team now has three dragons at just about eighteen minutes? Oh. Uh, so that is enough. That's. So there's a, there's a uh, couple ways you know. win it, right? So if you can draw this game out to 55 minutes, this, oh. here's where it starts, right? You draw it out to 55 minutes. Scion split pushes everything. You win the game. He now, could. let's say that does not happen. Let's say, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sleepy Nico. Yeah, Surely she would sleepy. not die. Surely she would never perish in this game. Nope. Not tonight, Pigeon Lambert says. He's part of the vegan chickens. He will not die. Pretty crazy. We see MF doing some work. I mean, she just killed Ziggs, and now she's going to grab that tower. Four, two, and two. Got the Yumus. What's she going to buy? I She'll buy know. something on the back. Oh! Oh, my goodness. The Collecta. Kind oh of a troll item, goodness. honestly. Why would you do that? No, it's, le it's all about lethality now. So <sighs> it used to be the good old day is like, listen, just build a ton of crit and use her as an auto attack champion. Now it's she'll pierce all your shit. Now it's hey, listen, uh, all you have to do these days is just build enough so your ult can one shot the entire enemy team. I mean, that's it. Especially that's with that it. comp too, you're yeah. fine doing that. That's a good strat. Oh, uh, you know, it's tough. Travis Kelsey running around, landing hooks. What are you supposed to do? That's true. That's a good way to look at it. Think of it that way. Thresh, I've never Travis, heard it worded like that difference? before, but I, mean, I do, I do kind of like it. Will added lineage to that. He loves the laterals. Yeah. 
couple stickers. OBJ Bounty, but there this guy is. will Ready? pay. Watch this. Watch he this fear. Pay. Ready? Check this out. He... <laughs> yeah, isn't that beautiful? I mean, you just sat there and died while you couldn't do a thing. Whole bunch it's of nothing. Incredible. I'm telling you, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, Rel is going to scuba Steve their way right out of there. Scuba Steve! Yep. Damn you! Scion picking up another turret. So, some more gold going back over to uh, UMass's side right here. So, just a couple kills away. Just a couple gold away. Now, the, the main difference is the objectives. That's the main difference, right? Kills are oh, all. Oh, Lil Nico Licious went invisible. Uh oh. Oh. I, I don't know over. if she can out it's damage her though. Oh! Oh my God! The rest of the team gets there. Holy the shit! Look at this MF damage. Boom! 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 Uh, boom! Imagine this. MF has the passive up with Yumu's Ghost Blade, oh and God. Lilia just outran that by base. You know how, her base. You know how sad that is to get outrun by a horse while you have Yumu's Ghost Blade going on. MF. Plus your passive. <sighs> I mean, she's moving around 600, man. Ah, uh, it's not enough. Apparently. The crazy part is it's not enough what these the hell, days. Man? I mean, just give me Hecarim V2. Let me run around at 800 all game. Oh, Yone. Oh! Didn't need to flash that, I think, but he will do it to be safe. Make sure he lives. Scion is coming for him. The Nocturne does spell shield the ult. Oh, Look a, a little, little bit of a fight monster. going on there. Making little plays on the route right here. Nocturne oh, goes right back yeah. in. They're waiting for Nico to make a move. A uh, move has been made. A lot of damage going out. Look at this. The Yone TP is coming in. This could be very juicy. Here oh, we go. Wow. We get to see the... Uh, he's going to stack his Q right here. We might see a big <laughs> power time. <laughs> and there it is. Nothing. Oh. It was close though. It, all the all the pieces were there. Jeez. And are you okay? No. There's a this couple brain matter laying on the uh, table. On the floor, probably, oh yeah. my goodness! What did you sneeze out? Hey, it's he something. Got it. He got it on my arm, dude. My skin is peeling right now. Uh -oh. It's it's acidic. I'm reptile. I'm someone. I don't know. That's it's dangerous. I try to cover those. Acidic, but you're so basic. Oh, wow. a little bit of a chemical chemistry element joke right there uh, for those scientists. Oh my God! Surely the kill comes through on. Yeah, oh my God! Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, look, that was pretty hot. You'll take the. You'll go out with some style by dying. Yeah, that was clean. You did your job. You did your read. job. You got the shot there. Fantastic by Noodle right there. Noodle throwing noodle out down. a noodle. Scion wants to go in. The team says not yet, not yet. No, not yet at all. But look at this. Here comes here comes the turret damage. Laying it down on here. The rift hill gets <laughs> dropped. Boom. That's gone. You have a Scion push. You don't have a lot of a minion waves right now because everything got cleared. But you're going to get one Boom. more charge off. Drop it down to about a fourth oh my God. of its HP. Now, dragon is up. Teleporting right back to base because look at look at little, little Yon was doing on the on the top side over there. And oh, uh -oh surely they don't break the streak. Sneak, they're surely to not. Sneak this fourth dragon away from them. Come on, well, let's see. Nocturne, oh, give your life for it. Give your life for it. Give your life. For oh it. my oh, god. Oh my goodness, he did not give his life for it. The streak has been stolen from yep, young that is vegetable. It. And UMass keeps the game alive a little bit longer with an excellent push down mid lane. And taking away soul point. The young vegetable makes sure um, to remember that for the next dragon. He Dude. is not going to let that happen again. That was a nine dragon streak that he just lost. It was gone, yeah. And, Very sad. And everyone will for, forever remember that, that they were the guy that could never get that many dragons. Right. We'll construct a memorial to the yep. failure. Yeah. Um, very unfortunate. That's a that's a little rough. How is that? Why is that blue buff there? What does that mean? Does that mean fucking what's his name? The tree guy. Doesn't that mean he's in the game? What blue buff? Yeah, you saw how it's like right there. What is that? What blue buff? Right there, the blue buff. That means a teammate could run over it. They get blue buff. Oh yeah, yeah but yeah. isn't it only with the tree man? No, it's anybody. So anyone oh, in the game can get it. Like now. if they already have it. That's a new, like, thing, yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh little young gets 
clapped, leaving Nocturne stuck like with a bunch of other people, and he's gonna turn around. He's gonna get a hit right here. He is surely going to drop down. He does go down by the Ziggs. The Nico re-engages with the MF ball. A lot of damage is popping off right here. The Nico actually survives. MF picks up an immediate triple oh, kill. And look at this. Yeah. Rel oh, trying to do everything they can to peel out for the AD carry. That's a quadra kill going right over to this MF. The ultimate comes no back up way. for a second time. Give it to her! Fight. This is going to be maybe a pentakill dropping over. Give her the penta! There it is! Oh my and that is goodness! that is a pentakill for vegan chicken right there. I cannot believe the MF ultimate came up two times in a team fight. That is insane. Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible 8 with a pentakill. That was incredible. Insane, dude. That is the power of Axiom Arc right now. That is, yeah. man, that's absurd. Like, you never see a double MF ult in never. a fight. That is crazy. Holy never. shit. I've seen a double Nocturne ult. I've never seen a double MF ult in my life. That's a clip. Oh, little Graves putting the house oh. in. Oh, Shut no. Down. Oh, jeez. a massive shutdown right here, eliminating the pentakill, which means you get an honorary pentakill. And Nocturne comes straight back in. He's doing a lot of damage. He's going to get CC'd right out of the way. Yon TP's in too as well, thinking that a lot's going to go down, but it looks like nothing is actually going to, in fact, go down. Uh, UMass pinging the over here to go to the Baron. They know MF is dead. They have a 27-second window of opportunity right here. Are they going to just force it? Scion coming straight up from the back. A little bit of wards in the pit. They obviously know what's going down right now. Nocturne making his way back over with Yon and Lilia coming back on this other side. Look at this. The flash over to take away the Blast Cone. This Thresh is all in. He said, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make this team win. It's getting pretty close. 5,000 HP, 4,000 HP. Yon with the full engage right oh. here. The Baron is over at 2,000 HP. Lily is still trying oh, to do back over here. Nocturne makes his way over. Oh. This is going to be a smite contest. Uh, smite it at 156 HP. Then Lilia picks it up. Nocturne oh was so God. close to getting that. He was wow. Really close. And we saw that massive Nico ult almost had something. MF wants to try to salvage what's left. Uh, Mazonia's cancels most of that. Still, though, I mean, uh, just a ridiculous amount of damage um, flashes in. Okay, so Ziggs is now dead. And he's out. Jeez. He's out, baby. Oh, they, they are not done. Well, they want to try to do Cyan cannot Cyan escape this. It's just going freak. to be a... Oh, he is going to escape this. They back off. They think Jeez. that, listen, at this some point, he's going to turn this around, and it's over for us. You can live. So, huge job over here uh, by UMass. So, massive job to get over here. They knew they, they, knew they had MF on a 27-second kill counter. Uh, they immediately go and take the Baron. It was a huge fight that went down. You saw Nocturne snuck into the pit, walked straight in there. It was a one-on-one. -on -one. It was a smite gamble put up. He takes the smite, drops it to 156 health. He was so close to stealing that. And then Lilia answers with a return smite to dit the Baron for the UMass team. Very stressful there. And two players still have it. Cyan has it and Lilia still has it. That's and Graves funny. also got some juicy gold with the shutdown kill previously to that fight going Jeez. on. So, so a bunch of moves right there for UMass. Yeah. And, now they're in the gold lead just by a seven kill difference. Yeah, which is crazy. Uh, so look at this. Look at this. I, I, Scion just never back? Like, I don't think shit. so. He just Still walked around the whole map for this old two minutes. Yeah, I, it looks like he's finally attempting to back now. Rel does not make it over the oh, wall. He's no. going to drop immediately. Oh, that is unfortunate. And here's the dragon right here. I think the logical thing is to try to leave here, right? Unless you think you can get some sort of sneak ult in here again. Nocturne puts it on here. Oh, this is the worst place to oh get caught. My. Oh, my goodness. They got jabated in here. But look at this. They're still turning it all around. Holy Scion shit. is still going in there hard right now. MF is tunneled in. Not much you can do. Nico drops down before this. Graves, watch this. He's about to get a triple kill right here. Wow. I mean, Graves is dealing out the damage. I cannot believe they survived the Nico ult combo and the MF ult combo. They they got jabated into an enclosed space. That is everything that Vegan Chicken wanted to happen, happen for them. And we saw the Zonia's drop, which saved some people. And then everyone else just survived. And, picked, and Graves picked up a triple kill. This Graves, I'm telling you right now, this Graves is massive after this... Uh, after this back, he should probably have Last Whisper and uh, or Lord Doms. I'm sorry. And uh, this man hurts. 
I tell this man is like he's he's getting like three shot category right now. You got it. He's mortal. get yeah. So uh, or mortal, he went mortal. So I mean, either way, he's still still, got still the armor three pen. still three shot. This man and he's gonna go GA last item. So now the tables have turned. Oh yeah. The tables have turned. Look at this Graves. Right, this Graves went from I think being two and three to now seven and three. With a thousand gold shutdown. Oh yeah, he, I mean UMass, really. We heard in the interview earlier W Nami saying, you know, we're still new together. We're learning that chemistry. I think this game is going to be a huge cannon event for this team. These guys are learning together. They're learning how to be good together right now. Um, and honestly, they have no business being where they are in this game right now after what we saw from vegan chickens they are coming back with fervor honestly um they have now a 4k nearly 4k gold lead they did take the past two dragons oh we see nocturne ulting in right onto someone looks like she yeah. wants to take this yeah to flash well, they, they obviously had some sort of thing that was going on right now and thought that more would happen but look at the scion he's actually taking a lot of damage from the yon dropped to about a fourth of his hp so he's going to uh, shuffle right out of there, and we'll see him probably shove another lane, maybe even a fight. Actually, uh, actually, he's not going to recall. Uh, oh, no. Little Yone got put to sleep. The MF ult drops again. Immediately, the Zonia's, I hate that item. Please remove it from the game. It is too powerful. Graves with a double kill. Look at this. And Lil Lambert. Lil Lambert's trying to escape it. it uh, a pole gets hooked on the right Nico. Look at all that damage coming out right now. Another Ziggs bomb is thrown. This is going to go. Mid is going to go. Oh, is Vegan Chicken is actually in a lot of trouble right now. East African doing everything he can to hold off the rest of the team. They're going to be pushing. Graves can probably three to four shot this turret alone. Not including that. Not including Holy the Ziggs shit. damage. Look at this. MF is getting absolutely smoked. Pigeon Lambert trying to do what he can to make it in over here. Uh, the Graves is about to go down. He has a stopwatch right here. But keep in mind, you still have the rest of the team alive plus a Scion passive. The MF all is massive but is not enough to stop it. And shebang. That's the end of the game. The UMS team comes back. I mean, if anything, I would say that's at yeah. minimum a skadoosh that by is a UMass skadoosh. right I there. I call that a double skadoosh Holy easily. Holy shit. Wow. That is a double skadoosh gadoosh. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, uh, UMass did an incredible job of being able to swing that back over there in their Seriously. favor. I mean, it's pretty rough when you get a pentakill and lose. I know. Oh, that's, that's but, rough. I mean, Jesus. But that's the power of the Scion. They became absolutely unkillable. The right. Graves dealing out huge AoE damage with that Hydra, man. He was killing everyone in fights. And it's just, you know, a really, really hard-fought win by UMass Amherst. Oh, yeah. Well, some would say the hardest fought. Easily the hardest. But, so, what's crazy is vegan chickens, I think this makes sense. They look. You see those damage charts, right? So oh, twenty-eight yeah. point five, twenty-five point three, thirty-nine points. Insane numbers. Yep. But UMass, I mean, all no one broke twenty-eight thousand. Anyone on their team? So you have twenty-one k by Scion, twenty-three k by Lilia, twenty-seven and a half by Graves, and nineteen by Zig. So a pretty huge damage difference. Yet they come out on top. That is how you know the team found their chemistry. They found yep. that mesh point where they need to. You know, play off of each other. I mean, you know, make that, those plays. All it takes, you know, is a couple of good fights, and this, that's what they got. You know, that uh, the pick they got around Baron, they do the Baron. Um, they, it, honestly, it all went downhill after the Pentacle because you get those couple picks mid, leads right into the Baron. They do the Baron. They try to steal the Baron. Another couple kills get into it in, mm -hmm. and then just a couple more bad fights after that, and it's over. And you masters, you know, they found the avenue to get back into that one. Yeah, I mean, after that interview with W Nami, it's really nice to see them kind of grow. I yeah. mean, even after one, that's one game, and you see kind of the growth throughout the game. Where in the beginning they're kind of struggling against vegan chickens, but toward this mid to late game, they they turn something on. Yeah. The team really becomes a team, I would say, um, and they come out with the win. And that's, I yeah, mean, what, it, a, what a great story. It's a great story. It's a great wow. story. You know, they say they're playing for fun, and I'm sure they had fun that game. For yeah. sure. 
I would be pumped out of my mind after winning that. That didn't look like playing for fun. That looked like people that were trying to win the game. Oh, they had something it, to prove. In my eyes, yeah. They so had something to prove. I think we got uh, being boozled a little bit. I know. A little bit of uh, modesty yeah. right there. It you took know? over. You know, it took over. The, right. You know? People, in my opinion, that are playing for fun, it's like, all right, listen, we, we all lost our lanes. Let's just A-ram this until the game's over. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they, they came back down three dragon came back got some huge barons uh, so close I yep. mean, that baron 156 damage turns that game another way that close man uh, oh. and that was it and then right they ran off with it so wow what an excellent job uh vegan chickens almost went back to back so close but you know we like but. to see that like to see multiple teams win you know it's always a good thing every team has a chance at the sls that's right and uh yeah and the more you pay us, the more those chances go that's up. Right, yeah, that's, that's right, baby. That's exactly right. <laughs> we got yeah. dev tools. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. right. We can put blast bombs on the map anytime we want. The healing oh, plan. Riot already did that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Riot already they did beat that. Us to it. They did. All um, right, but, but yeah, two excellent games. Two excellent two, games. Two excellent games, and I think that, that's going to about do it. Uh, producer, do we have anything else lined up, or are we good to go? We're good to go. All right. Well, I'm going to sign this one off. I'm Pat. This is Chase. That's Josh. And uh, we love you guys. We will see you next week. Bye-bye. Captain, you've recorded abnormal signals of an unknown entity within 1,000 feet of the ship. The size of it is far beyond the mind's reach. It can't be another ship. Sir, it's like something I've never seen before, and it's closing in at a preposterous speed.